Well, I, I would say to patients that uh, they are free to use aspirin for short doses according to instructions with gastro protection uh, and to see whether it relieves their symptoms. That is already uh, licensed and proper use of, of aspirin. I would say to, to doctors who uh, are in the position to prescribe indomethacin, and I would personally prefer, if I were to go down with COVID, to get to have indomethacin because there are these special effects of indomethacin against viruses and specifically against coronaviruses which have not been adequately researched yet and it's again entirely possible that indomethacin does have superior action as well as its action against kinins. Well, I think it's hard to stop them from doing that, isn't it? It's, aspirin is uh, widely available for sale. People know how to use aspirin. Uh, they know they should use uh, a PPI nowadays to protect their stomach. Um, if they have severe pain, which is part of most cases of early COVID, uh, then it is indicated for that. And if it also treats the cough, which is our suggestion, then please report that. Or indeed, if it doesn't treat the cough, please report that as well. Um, it's not impossible that the effects of aspirin on kinin coughs, such as caused by COVID, uh, has been hiding in plain sight all along.